Honey Comb Textbook in English for Class 7 Page 55 Chapter 4 Before you read This is a story about an honest and hard-working old couple and their pet dog. The neighbours are troublesome and the dog dies a sad death. The spirit of the dog gives solace and support to his master in unexpected ways. The Ashes That Made Trees Bloom Part 1 In the good old days of Daimyos, there lived an old couple whose only pet was a little dog. Having no children, they loved it as though it were a baby. The old dame made it a cushion of blue crepe and at mealtime, Muko, for that was its name, would sit on it as snug as any cat. The kind people fed the pet with tidbits of fish from their own chopsticks and all the boiled rice it wanted. Thus treated, the dumb creature loved its protectors like a being with a soul. The old man, being a rice farmer, went daily with hoe or spade into the fields, working hard from morning until Otenosama, as the sun is called, had gone down behind the hills. Words and their meanings Daimyos means in 19th century Japan wealthy landowners. Snug means comfortable. A being with a soul means like a human child showing emotion. Page 56 Every day the dog followed him to work, never once harming the white heron that walked in the footsteps of the old man to pick up the worms. For the old fellow was patient and kind to everything that had life and often turned up a sword on purpose to give food to the birds. One day, the dog came running to him, putting his paws against his legs and motioning with his head to some spot behind. The old man at first thought his pet was only playing and did not mind it. But the dog kept on whining and running to and fro for some minutes. Then the old man followed the dog a few yards to a place where the animal began a lively scratching. Thinking it was possibly a buried bone or bit of fish, the old man struck his hoe in the earth when, lo, a pile of gold gleamed before him. Words and their meanings Turned up means Dug up. On purpose means intentionally. Gleamed means shone or glittered. Page 57. Thus, in an hour the old couple were made rich. The good souls bought a piece of land, made a feast for their friends and gave plentifully to their poor neighbours. As for the dog, they petted him till they nearly smothered him with kindness. Now, in the same village, there lived a wicked old man and his wife, not a bit sensitive and kind, who had always kicked and scolded all dogs whenever any passed their house. Hearing of their neighbor's good luck, they coaxed the dog into their garden and set before him bits of fish and other dainties, hoping he would find treasure for them. But 
the dog being afraid of the cruel pair would neither eat nor move then they dragged him out of doors taking a spade and hoe with them no sooner had the dog got near a pine tree growing in the garden than he began to paw and scratch the ground as if a mighty treasure lay beneath quick wife hand me the spade and hoe cried the greedy old fool as he danced with joy then the covetous old fellow with a spade and the old crone with a hoe began to dig but there was nothing but a dead kitten the smell of which made them drop their tools and shut their noses furious at the dog the old man kicked and beat him to death and the old woman finished the work by nearly chopping off his head with the sharp hoe they then flung him into the hole and heaped the earth over his carcass the owner of the dog heard of the death of his pet and mourning for him as if he had been his own child went at night under the pine tree words and their meanings coaxed means persuaded or enticed dainties means tasty food covetous means greedy crone means old woman old man's wife flung means threw carcass means dead body page 58 he set up some bamboo tubes in the ground such as are used before tombs in which he put fresh flowers then he laid a cup of water and a tray of food on the grave and burned several costly sticks of incense he mourned a great while over his pet calling him many dear names as if he were alive that night the spirit of the dog appeared to him in a dream and said cut down the pine tree over my grave and make from it a mortar for your rice pastry and a mill for your bean sauce words and their meanings mortar means a bowl page 59 so the old man chop down the tree and cut out of the middle of the trunk a section about 2 feet long with great labor partly by fire partly by the chisel he scraped out a hollow place as big as a small bowl he then made a long handled hammer of wood such as is used for pounding rice when new year's time drew near he wished to make some rice pastry when the rice was all boiled granny put it into the mortar the old man lifted his hammer to pound the mass into dough and the blows fell heavily and fast till the pastry was all ready for baking suddenly the whole mass turned into a heap of gold coins when the old woman took the hand mill and filling it with beans began to grind the gold dropped like rain meanwhile the envious neighbor peeped in at the window when the boiled beans were being ground goody me cried the old hag as she saw each dripping of sauce turning into yellow gold until in a few minutes the tub under the mill was full of a shining mass of gold so the old couple were rich again 
the next day the stingy and wicked neighbor came and borrowed the mortar and magic mill they filled one with boiled rice and the other with beans then the old man began to pound and the woman to grind but at the first blow and turn the pastry and sauce turned into a foul mass of worms still more angry at this they chopped the mill into pieces to use as firewood words and their meanings pounding means crushing or grinding stingy means miserly page 60 comprehension check question number 1 why did the neighbor kill the dog question number 2 mark the right item number 1 the old farmer and his wife loved the dog a because it helped them in their day to day work b as if it was their own baby c as they were kind to all living beings number 2 when the old couple became rich they a gave the dog better food b invited their greedy neighbors to a feast c lived comfortably and were generous towards their poor neighbors number 3 the greedy couple borrowed the mill and the mortar to make a rice pastry and bean sauce b magic ash to win rewards c a pile of gold part 2 not long after that the good old man dreamed again and the spirit of the dog spoke to him telling him how the wicked people had burned the mill made from the pine tree take the ashes of the mill sprinkle them on the withered trees and they will bloom again said the dog spirit the old man awoke and went at once to his wicked neighbor's house where he found the miserable old pair sitting at the edge of their square fireplace in the middle of the floor smoking and spinning words and their meanings withered means bare and dry page 61 from time to time they warmed their hands and feet with the blaze from some bits of the mill while behind them lay a pile of the broken pieces the good old man humbly asked for the ashes though the covetous couple turned up their noses at him and scolded him as if he were a thief they let him fill his basket with the ashes on coming home the old man took his wife into the garden it being winter their favorite cherry tree was bare he sprinkled a pinch of ashes on it and lo it sprouted blossoms until it became a cloud of pink blooms which perfumed the air the news of this filled the village and everyone ran out to see the wonder the covetous couple also heard the story and gathering up the remaining ashes of the mill kept them to make withered trees blossom words and their meanings turned up their noses means treated him with contempt page 62 the kind old man hearing that his lord the daimyo was to pass along the high road near the village set out to see him 
taking his basket of ashes. As the train approached, he climbed up into an old withered cherry tree that stood by the wayside. Now, in the days of the daimyos, it was the custom when their lord passed by for all the loyal people to shut up their high windows. They even pasted them fast with a slip of paper so as not to commit the impertinence of looking down on his lordship. All the people along the road would fall upon their hands and knees and remain prostrate until the procession passed by. The train drew near. One tall, competent man marched ahead, crying out to the people by the way, Get down on your knees! Get down on your knees! And everyone kneeled down while the procession was passing. Suddenly, the leader of the van caught sight of the aged man up in the tree. He was about to call out to him in an angry tone, but seeing he was such an old fellow, he pretended not to notice him and passed him by. So, when the daimyo's palanquin drew near, the old man, taking a pinch of ashes from his basket, scattered it over the tree. In a moment, it burst into blossom. The delighted Damio ordered the train to be stopped and got out to see the wonder. Calling the old man to him, he thanked him and ordered presents of silk robes, sponge cake, fans and other rewards to be given him. He even invited him to his castle. So, the old man went gleefully home to share his joy with his dear old wife. Words and their meanings Train means procession. Prostrate means lying on the ground, face downward. Palanquin means royal van or cart. Gleefully means happily. Page 63 But when the greedy neighbor heard of it, he took some of the magic ashes and went out on the highway. There, he waited until a daimyo's train came along and, instead of kneeling down like the crowd, he climbed a withered cherry tree. When the daimyo himself was almost directly under him, he threw a handful of ashes over the tree, which did not change a particle. The wind blew the fine dust in the noses and eyes of the daimyo and his wife. Such sneezing and choking, it spoiled all the pomp and dignity of the procession. The man, whose business it was to cry, get down on your knees, seized the old fool by the collar, dragged him from the tree and tumbled him and his ash basket into the ditch by the road. Then, beating him soundly, he left him for dead. Thus, the wicked old man died in the mud, but... The kind friend of the dog dwelt in peace and plenty and both he and his wife lived to a green old age. By William Elliot Griffiths A Japanese Tale Words and their meanings A particle means even a little bit. Seized means caught. Green means here, healthy, active and prosperous. Working with the text. Answer the following questions. Question 1. 
the old farmer is a kind person what evidence of his kindness do you find in the first two paragraphs question 2 what did the dog do to lead the farmer to the hidden gold question 3 part 1 How did the spirit of the dog help the farmer first? Part 2 How did it help him next? Page 64 Question 4 Why did the daimyo reward the farmer but punish his neighbor for the same act? Working with language Question 1 Read the following conversation Ravi What are you doing Mridu I am reading a book Ravi Who wrote it Mridu Ruskin Bond Ravi Where did you find it Mridu In the library Notice that what who where are question words Questions that require information begin with question words. Some other question words are when, why, where, which and how. Remember that what asks about actions, things, etc. Who asks about people. Which asks about people or things where asks about place when asks about time why asks about reason or purpose how asks about means manner or degree whose asks about possessions read the following paragraph and frame questions on the italicized phrases anil is in school i am in school too anil is sitting in the left row he is reading a book anil's friend is sitting in the second row He is sharpening his pencil. The teacher is writing on the blackboard. Children are writing in their copy books. Some children are looking out of the window. Page 65 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash 7 dash in the given space you have to frame questions on the italicized phrases of the paragraph that was just read question 2 write appropriate question words in the blank spaces in the following dialogue neha dash did you get this book sheila yesterday morning neha dash is your sister crying sheila because she has lost her doll neha dash room is this yours or hers sheila it's ours neha dash do you go to school neha we walk to school it is nearby question 3 fill in the blanks with the words given in the drop box words in the box are how what when where which number 1 my friend lost his chemistry book 
now he doesn't know dash to do and dash to look for it number 2 there are so many toys in the shops neha can't decide dash one to buy number 3 you don't know the way to my school ask the policeman dash to get there number 4 you should decide soon dash to start building your house number 5 do you know dash to ride a bicycle i don't remember dash and dash i learnt it number 6 you should know dash to talk and dash to keep your mouth shut the teacher advised anil page 66 question 4 add im i am or in i n to each of the following words and use them in place of the italicized words in the sentences given below the words are patient proper possible sensitive competent number 1 the project appears very difficult at first but it can be completed if we work very hard number 2 he lacks competence that's why he can't keep any job for more than a year number 3 don't lose patience your letter will come one day the postman told me number 4 that's not a proper remark to make under the circumstances number 5 he appears to be without sensitivity in fact he is very emotional Question 5 Read the following sentences It was a cold morning and stars still glowed in the sky An old man was walking along the road The words in italics are articles A and an are indefinite articles and the is the definite article a is used before a singular countable noun an is used before a word that begins with a vowel a boy a mango a university an actor an apple an r use a an or the in the blanks there was once dash play which became very successful dash famous actor was acting in it in dash play his role was that of dash aristocrat who had been imprisoned in dash castle for 20 years in dash last act of dash play someone would come on dash stage with dash letter which he would hand over to dash prisoner even though dash aristocrat was not expected to read dash letter at each performance he always insisted that dash letter be written out from beginning to end page 67 question 6 encircle the correct article nina was looking for a or the job here a is encircled after many interviews she got a 
or the job she was looking for. Here, the is encircled. A. Would you like a and the apple or a and the banana? B. I'd like a and the apple, please. A. Take a and the red one in a and the fruit bowl. You may take a and the orange also if you like. B. Which one? A. A and the one beside a and the banana. Speaking and writing. Question number one. Do you remember an anecdote or a story about a greedy or jealous person and the unhappy result of his or her action? Narrate the story to others in your class. Here is one for you to read. Seeing an old man planting a fig tree, the king asked why he was doing this. The man replied that he might live to eat the fruit and even if he did not, his son would enjoy the figs. Well, said the king, if you do live to eat the fruit of this tree, please let me know. The man promised to do so and sure enough, before too long, the tree grew and bore fruit. Packing some fine figs in a basket, the old man set out for the palace to meet the king. The king accepted the gift and gave orders that the old man's basket be filled with gold. Now, next door to the old man, there lived a greedy old man jealous of his neighbor's good fortune. He also packed some figs in a basket and took them to the palace in hope of getting gold. The king, on learning the man's motives, ordered him to stand in the compound and had him pelted with figs. The old man returned home and told his wife the sad story. She consoled him by saying, You should be thankful that our neighbor did not grow coconuts. Page 68 Question 2 Put each of the following in the correct order. Then use them appropriately to fill the blanks in the paragraph that follows. Use Correct punctuation marks. English and Hindi both in he writes. And only a few short stories, many books in English in Hindi. Is my Hindi than my English much better? After arranging the above phrases in the proper order, Fill them in the paragraph that will be read now. Ravi Kant is a writer and dash. Of course, he is much happier writing in English than in Hindi. He has written dash. I find his books a little hard to understand. Dash. Question 3. Are you fond of reading stories? Did you read one last month? If not, read one or two and then write a paragraph about the story. Use the following hints. Title of the story. Name of the author. How many characters. Which one you liked. Some details of the story. Main points as you understand it. Tell your friends why they should also read. In the box, 
thought what? I thought a thought. But the thought I thought wasn't the thought I thought I thought. Honeycomb You were just listening to this audiobook. Production Assistance Meenakshi Kukreti and Jagbandu Jana Recorded by Batilang Lingdo Technical Assistance Soumya Malik Produced by Ajit Horo and presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi India